Hi, I'm Guy from Scoop. Whether you're looking for a second internet connection to act as a backup or to increase your current bandwidth, there's some configuration needed for it to work. This configuration is referred to as load balancing or failover. Load balancing and failover are technologies that help the user achieve high availability on the network and are especially useful for businesses. While they both achieve the goal of high availability, they achieve it in different ways. In this video, we'll explain the difference and show users how to implement either option on a Rayi gateway. Load balancing achieves high availability by distributing the workload on the network. This prevents a single connection from getting overloaded and causing a backlog or slow service. It also helps with maintaining availability by keeping a live WAN connection running should one of them fail. For load balancing to work, you'll always require a router or gateway with at least two WAN ports. We'll be using the EG105 for this example, and at this time, the firmware version is 2.280. Once logged into the gateway, navigate to the workspace section on the left, and then down to WAN. In this window, the single line option will be selected by default, but we'll change this to dual line as we have a DHCP connection on WAN 0 and triple PoE connection on WAN 1. After establishing the link on both WAN connections, we can go to the load settings. This is where the type of load balancing or failover will be configured. Smart load balancing is the default option. It distributes the load across the WAN connections based on the speed it is configured with. For example, if WAN 0 is 80 megabits per second and WAN 1 is 20 megabits per second, then 80% of the traffic will go through WAN 0 and 20% through WAN 1. The remaining options base distribution on weights that are assigned to each of the connections. Under the Line Detections tab, it states the destination IP or domain that will be pinged to see if the connection is still live. The default domain is google.co.za and the other is the Google DNS IP 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. The configuration in Regi Cloud is also pretty straightforward. In your project with a gateway on it, in the network-wide category on the left, select multi-WAN in the menu. Click on the Add WAN Link option on the right of the WAN Link details. Select the port that you wish to change to a WAN connection and click Convert. Now select the type of connection coming into the port. And save. At this point, the second WAN connection will appear in the Smart WAN page. Your choice of load balancing or failover options can be accessed by clicking on the Wait button next to Load Balancing. That's it for the config via Regi Cloud. In the Regi Cloud app, tap on Advanced at the bottom of the page and then go to WAN Config. Here you can convert one of the LAN or WAN interchangeable ports to a WAN connection. Once this is done, the load balancing option should be available at the top right. If we navigate to that option, we can configure the load balancing mode and policy that will apply to the WAN connections. We'll use the default smart load balancing option to distribute traffic based on the assigned port speed for each WAN connection. That's all you have to do on the Regi Cloud app. Failover achieves high availability by redirecting traffic to a backup or secondary connection when the primary connection goes down. Once the main connection is back up and running, it'll take over the workload and the backup connection will disengage. This backup connection will only engage in these events and will not run in conjunction with the main connection. Configuration for failover is the same as load balancing methods, but the load mode will be set to active and secondary mode. This will allow you to set which WANs you would like as the primary and secondary connections. These settings dictate which connection should be used when the primary WAN fails. Once the primary WAN is back up and running, the gateway will switch back to that connection and disengage the secondary WAN. 
users can configure more WAN connections to mix the load balancing and failover modes, which allows for better availability and connection speed potential. To do this, set the WAN connections that you would like load balanced as your primary interface. Then set the failover connection as the secondary interface while in the active and secondary mode. Now, only once all primary WAN connections go down, will the secondary kick in. We hope that this guide has been helpful and that it proved useful for your future installations. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us and speak to anyone in the technical team. Hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Guy from Scoop.